here is a video which you are seeing is an actual footage of the plane which we are going to talk about which actually almost vertically dipped down on the ground and killed so many people so the plane i'm talking about is china eastern airlines flight 5735 which crashed on 21st march 2022 which was departing at 1310 local time from Kunming and was scheduled to land at Guangzhou at 55 local time uh some disclaimer before i go further as as much as I have read by now, there's still no, no official word on the cause of this crash. Final report has not yet been published, but the report indicates that plane, pilot, passenger, crew, everyone was good before takeoff. So yes, officially there is no word on what caused this crash. So I'm not going to conclude on what caused the crash, but I'm going to talk about the final seconds of this plane from the date of flight radar 24. So actual final horror is of 150 seconds, but the data which is available, the granular data is of 112 seconds. The people who, who uh, it caused the death of 132 people. The horror starts at 62043 UTC and finishes at 62235 UTC and yellow is just a snapshot of that horror data. If you see here, the first yellow, it shows the plane is level flighted to 29,000 feet and then it starts falling. And it's important to note when a plane falls, the vertical rate of acceleration goes negative. Like you see from zero vertical rate of acceleration, that means the plane is level flight, it suddenly goes to 2,196 uh, minus uh, feet per minute. Basically, that's a very rapid, de uh, rapid fall of the plane. The plane is falling, that's a blue line, which you're seeing is basically the altitude of the plane and the magenta is the vertical rate of acceleration. You can see, from, from the first yellow line, the plane starts falling. It's the altitude is continuously decreasing, decreasing, and decreasing. And the vertic, uh, the falling rate, that is vertical rate of acceleration is increasing. But when you come near the second yellow box, when you see the second yellow box, you see that the vertical rate of acceleration is now from negative is going to positive. That means the plane is not falling anymore. For a few seconds, the plane was actually trying to lift itself or the pilot in the plane was trying to lift the plane. And that's why you see the rapid fall here in the second yellow line is hold and the trap plane is trying to capture some positive altitude. And after that, for the moment, the second yellow box finishes, you see a sudden increase in vertical rate, negative vertical rate of acceleration. That means a very rapid fall. And that's what the video which I showed you at the beginning of this video, of uh, this recording which I'm doing. So let's analyze what's happening in the second yellow in a bit detail. So this is the actual enlarged view of the second yellow, which I was talking about. So what happens here is like, if you see at 7,850 7, feet, and here you see uh, on fourth small yellow square is 8,175 feet. That means the plane, which was at 7,850 feet, after some second, it was 8,175 feet. That means plane actually tried climbing the fall was uh, somehow someone in the cockpit was trying to control the fall if it was a mechanical error the pilot was trying to correct it or something was happening which was lifting the plane at this point of time and that's why you see that rate of acceleration vertical speed uh, which is in the magenta color from 2188 goes up to the positive which is like some uh, some 1000 something in the positive that means when the vertical rate of acceleration is positive, that means plane is flying, and that's what that the story of the second yellow box is. But the moment the second yellow box finishes, after 8,175 feet, the plane suddenly goes into a fall, vertical rate of acceleration goes haywire. So that means if whatever was causing the plane, it tried to correct itself, or someone tried to correct itself, but was not able to hold the plane, and the plane actually fell. This is that this is that uh, actual uh, colorful view from flight radar. Other graphs were made by me, which shows you see if 62043 plane starts falling, 62059 the plane is rapidly falling, but at 62115 and 425 feet, which I also showed you in my graph, and up to like around 30 seconds or 40 seconds, the plane tried to lift it, kept level for some seconds, and then fell down. So if you ask from my experience, yeah, there have been such mechanical failure which can cause certain dip. Uh, like if a radar is jammed, the plane is directly going to the nose dive and the pilot will not be able to control it. Mm, yeah, uh, but if you ask me, yes, there has been instances also where the pilot has actually himself put the plane into a certain dip manually. And the, um, but here, I don't know what has happened since official word is not out. 
but if if you assume that the pilot did put into the plane into the fall then something happened where pilot tried correcting the fall he just maybe changed his mind for 30 seconds or someone uh, some other pilot was tried trying to fight him and trying to correct it or if some mechan catastrophic mechanical failure happened with the plane the what happens is when you suddenly falls uh, uh, the lift on the wings will increase and it plane might try to you know lift itself up or the pilot for a few seconds was successful and when in his uh, and just imagine if the human body won't sustain those g forces and that but the pilot might have lost consciousness and the plane fell thank you for thank you for watching guys and do let me know in the comment how you felt